we can start bashing, and if he makes um, if he equips his arsonist, we can just essentially fog with our penavis. Yep. Ah, oh, those are flying, are they? Yeah, never mind. We should have made two flying guys with the Penavis. Still a little bit uh, unfamiliar with it, so please forgive me. of empires um, not terribly worried about that but at the same time I think that yeah cause I think we kill him in like just a few turns here so I think that's actually fine Okay, so then we just bash. The great thing is we can even attack with the uh, the bear because, I mean, if he ends up trying to kill something with his arsonist, we just respond. Pentavis is definitely a beating. Like, whatever this is, we counter it. Or we can just kill it with Doomblade. It doesn't actually matter. I guess we just kill it. Just respond. I think he's under a fair amount of pressure. He forgot to buy the receptor, and yep, I guess that's it. Okay, so against this deck, um, what do we want to bring in? I 
definitely want to bring in Flash Freeze. Um, Unsummon seemed to be pretty good against him. He didn't have any particular cards that I wanted to um, take away with Distress. We didn't see any bombs. I mean, we didn't really get a chance to, but... Other than Flash Freeze, I think... Hmm. I mean, Dragon was pretty bad against him. But I think that, I mean, he's going to need to target it with something anyways. You know, whether it's a shock or whatnot, so... Hmm. I think I'm actually going to consider maybe taking out the Fleetwing here. I mean, Fleetwing is fine, but at the same time, like, we want early answers for him, and Fleetwing's not going to do too much. It's basically, um, you know, essentially a 2-2 blocker for 4 mana, so I think we're going to go like this. Alright, so he's playing first. We could draw into more land, hopefully. Um, we have bears to try to stabilize. Ooh, I really want more land in this hand is the problem. I mean, we are on the draw. I think we can try it. Like, if these were two of one color land, I would definitely not keep this hand. Happy to trade bears for arsonist. And b just because of Bloodthirst, um, like, we, we do not want to... Oh, I guess he's missed on land there. Huh. Like, this guy trades with him anyway, so I, there's no reason to attack, really, at this point. So if he draws the land and has the Berserker, like, he's certainly going to block. I think we just actually just take it here. Then, like, even if he plays Berserkers, we just, you know, bounce it next turn. Or another Arsonist. Okay. Yep, and there's the Stormblood. Luckily, we have the Aether Adept. What we could do here is we could just actually play out the Manolith to set up the Mind Control for next turn, but I think that bouncing the Aether Adept is still better. Like, that's got to be the most annoying thing in the world to have that happen. Okay, so at this point we run out the bears, bash for two.
I mean, it might have been correct to actually sit back and just double block. That actually might have been better. But what's better still is bouncing it again. Like, we could play the vampire here, but I'd rather just go Manolith, Aether Adept. That yeah, seems a lot better. Like, multiple Aether Adepts in a game is just so backbreaking. Going pretty deep into the tank there. Oh, I guess it's just a land. So I guess he really wants those berserkers to happen. If we get one more mana, we can fireball both of his guys for three, so I think that we just drop Sanger Vampire and pass, I think. Okay, and Fireball is still a total beating. I mean, at this point, it's pretty clear he doesn't have, um, you know, a big creature to take. So we can just, I think at this point we can safely just like, um, actually I think our best play here is to attack with both guys, see what he does, if he blocks, Fireball, all three of these for, for one. Um, let's see, one, two, three, it should be just enough. The problem is if he has any kind of counter magic, we're kind of cold to that, but I think that it's worth it. He is going to take the bait. So hopefully does not have counter magic. <laughs> 